Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Yan Qing Yang. Uh, it's, it is my uh, great pleasure to uh, um, have Yao Ming with us today to have this one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, dialogue. And uh, because the majority of the audience today are Chinese, so we uh, decided that we're going to have this session in Chinese. So if you uh, uh, need a uh, um, simultaneous interpretation, uh, please do uh, have it. And also, I want to remind you, remind you that there, there is no uh, photograph for this session at all. And please uh, um, cooperate. And uh, um, today, we are very pleased to have Yao Ming on this one-on-one -on -one dialogue session. Yesterday and last night, actually, my friends suggested me that uh, I should not make uh, one mistake. I should not uh, make wrong of uh, Yao Ming's uh, uh, body height. <laughs> so, and I will be chased and killed by millions of fans. So I can give him a very brief introduction. So how shall I introduce Yao Ming today? I know many of you are fully aware and know him well. And his body height is 2.26 uh, meters. And uh, two days later, he will celebrate his 35th birthday. And his good husband uh, and ha a father of a uh, uh, girl of uh, 4.5 years old. And uh, his uh, rock in Houston is described as a prizing miracle and the largest <laughs> export uh, uh, from China to U.S. as described by the U.S. president. Today, he has different uh, roles. For example, uh, founder of the Yao Foundation, also the president of the uh, Yao uh, Ming Basketball. He's one of the active charity figures. So let's have him uh, describe his challenges, experiences, and opportunities so that can, we can understand him better. So we start with some charity activities. Uh, describe one of the recent activities. Uh, on August 23rd, you joined the, the, the challenge. How did you describe how does it feel? He said, very cool, you know. It's that's the, that's the most vivid uh, one, and uh, that's something uh, oh no, introduced from U.S. to China, and people began to focus on the story behind uh, on those patients, their future, their way. So I feel that this is uh, a easy action, but uh, to understand their story is a uh, uh, grief, uh, you know, not easy. I know this is a good way to express your love. And uh, you started the activities a long time ago. So what was the first trigger that put you on this track? He said, uh, in our education, you know, we were educated to serve the people, uh, do good things all the time. We have different uh, names uh, in our schooling years, like Lei Feng and other heroes. Uh, we were inspired all the time in the new time, in the new era. We have the new uh, thinking and the review and our interpretation of charity. I think the first one should be the SARS in 2003. People may remember that uh, what you felt at that time. And I worked with SME and Shanghai Television on a program, uh, you know, uh, to find some some fund for the SARS workers, uh, medical workers, uh, to protect some personal protection equipment. Uh, we hope that uh, we can bring some comfort and calm. And uh, among the kind of panic people at the time, uh, you know, the spread of virus uh, was not as fierce as the panic uh, atmosphere around people. That's the first time I I did some charity activities uh, on the television, and I think that is the conglomeration effect that we can make something bigger. 
and uh, there will be some interaction and the multiply the factor afterwards. Uh, we focus uh, and uh, we care about uh, your figure. I think uh, more from the 2006 about the shark fin uh, activity. You know, you launched the anti shark fin consumption campaign. I think uh, three years later, the shark fin consumption decreased by 50 percent in China. Does that make you happy? He said, I was much uh, encouraged and inspired by this one. 2006, I worked uh, with uh, the wildlife team and uh, to launch an anti shark fin consumption campaign because uh, the the whaling, uh, the, the, sh the shark fin uh, fishing uh, has destroyed, uh, has a bad impact on the ecosystem in the ocean, you know, as a predator. and. Uh, uh, that will result in uh, the huge production of fish. Uh, uh, that result in the decrease of the shellfish and other species. Uh, and we call that uh, no trading, mm, no killing. So I think uh, that uh, slogan has a huge impact uh, among people. And ultimately, uh, different uh, behavioral changes. Uh, I believe that uh, these are the best rewards for the people working behind. Do you think that you are a public figure celebrity and you have so many fans and people like to act after you? Is that the main reason, a main driver, so that we can reduce the shark fin consumption? Or you have weakened many, so many people? He said, uh, in different uh, stages, people may have different understanding. There's no doubt to say that. Uh, take the shark fin as an example. That the shark fin uh, consumption has its uh, name in the Chinese cuisine over hundreds, even thousands of years. It's uh, a symbolic uh, cuisine. But over years, we need to make improvement. And the previous fishing has made it as uh, exclusive only for the royal family or the uh, elite of the society. However, with the economic development, when China has the power to make a difference to the world, we have to act cautiously, do the things properly in the right way. Otherwise, we may have uh, uh, a negative uh, impact, uh, far-reaching and fundamental. I believe uh, each one has uh, a heart for the good things, good deeds. And if everything wants to do the good things, we hope we can elevate ourselves. And uh, what we are doing is a kind of shadow. It's a reflection of to your goodness. Recently, you went to Africa for several visits. Uh, since you are starting a new campaign to protect wild life, so like, like the rhino and elephants, so why you are working in a different uh, sector? What is your uh, takeaway? What, what do you think about that? After the success of the anti shark fin campaign, we work with the same team to start a second uh, a phase of the project, a new one to protect uh, African uh, elephants at Reno because uh, China market, the Asian market has a huge demand for the uh, for the Reno and elephant products, the teeth, the elephant teeth. And that's, uh, as a result, uh, the elephants 20,000 kilometers away from here were have been killed for a commercial reason. And uh, we may receive a gift, uh, carefully carved uh, elephant teeth. However, you may never imagine this associated uh, with the brutal killing and uh, soulless uh, dead body. And where is the soul? And uh, who has paid for the soul? I think we need to think about it. We need to retrieve it on it. I think the people on this trade, on this industry, shall ask themselves these questions. I know on the recent uh, book, uh, and there is a small elephant behind you. Would you tell me something about that elephant? Two years ago, when I went to Africa, I visited uh, a 
elephant uh, orphanage, and there was a small one, only 10 years old, only 10 days old, sorry. And uh, the Nasrin worker uh, discovered this baby elephant, uh, and uh, the mother elephant uh, had been killed. And so they shipped uh, the baby to the orphanage. And uh, when we discovered it was 10 days old, unfortunately, the baby elephant died afterwards. But I believe that uh, picture is very impressive. So when you are on site, uh, you have the personal observation and impression, and you are in a position to weaken other souls. And uh, well, there are many things that you cannot bring from the site, such as the, you know, I, I was shocked by the feeling I, I could not uh, uh, carry back with the pictures, you know, totally different uh, impact, including the smell. So just a small uh, bullet that uh, killed this uh, baby uh, elephant, but who is uh, paying for the cost of the bullet? So just now we talk a lot about the uh, concrete activities you have. And uh, also, there's a kind of uh, model for this operation. So you would like to uh, rely on the Yao uh, funds to uh, penetrate into uh, many areas. So can you tell me about your uh, fund? So just now we talk about uh, wildlife uh, protection and uh, SARS. And uh, before the year 08, so I worked together with a lot of uh, charities for those uh, philanthropies. And uh, we have a very good uh, commercial result, but it covers uh, two wide areas. So we want to be more uh, focused, more in-depth activities. So in 2008, we set up my uh, Yao Foundation, or Yao Funds. So at the beginning, our uh, target to help the poor and the remote areas to build some uh, schools, especially after the earthquake of the year 08. So we have both uh, finished and also undergoing schools. It's about uh, 18 schools. So our uh, uh, experts is in uh, sports. So we have a very uh, powerful uh, sport team. So how to uh, uh, have uh, more content. We want to uh, move from uh, hardware to software. That's a transformation. So for once for all, normally it's for the hardware. You can offer our desktop and the books and the computers. But for quite a long time, there's no such uh, connection. Now we are moving to the training in the sports activity. This is a kind of uh, software. So that's why we organized a kind of a basketball season for those uh, uh, whole powerful school uh, funded by Yao Foundation. So we try to hire some uh, volunteers. So we give them some uh, uh, training concerning the basketball. And on, we can send them. We can send them to uh, those uh, schools to be their teacher of the physical class to uh, teach the children how to uh, play uh, basketball. And they have to work out a uh, curriculum and also the plan for the teaching of uh, basketball. So if there's anything on the uh, text, so it could be uh, helpful for the future development of those uh, schools. Those things uh, have been uh, doing for three years. The first year, we have uh, 47 schools uh, join this uh, program. And last year, we have uh, 79 schools. For this year, it's uh, 157 schools as the member of this uh, program. And also, we pay a lot of attention to the quality of the training. So if it uh, grow too fast, so we have to uh, balance both the speed and the quality. You have done so many uh, public uh, welfare activity. You did it both in America and in China. So make a comparison. So what is the biggest difficulty and the pressure in China if you do the philanthropies? So in the United States, I have some contacts. So the basketball team or community I lived in. So their philosophy of the philanthropy, so they have more freedom. So they can set up their own rules and the principles of our donations, as well as the job divisions. So in China, so with uh, the government uh, regulations, it's quite uh, tight. There's a uh, one rule in China. So only 10% uh, of the donations could be used for the office, for the traveling, 
and also the uh, diminished retrieval cost should be uh, less than 10 percent, and 90 percent will be used for our program. So the original uh, idea is quite good, but we don't have enough uh, flexibility. Oh, in the United States, this uh, figure could be uh, higher than 50 percent, so they have a higher freedom. So uh, that depends, the different uh, percentage. So, but we are only uh, limited to uh, 10 percent. So we need uh, better people for doing our foundation uh, better. So we need those uh, experts, but uh, we cannot uh, recruit uh, very uh, excellent uh, talents. So it doesn't mean that uh, my current uh, talents are not excellent. So they all have their dreams uh, join our team. So even for the uh, present uh, uh, people, so our uh, team members, so we have to give them a more uh, 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 space for their uh, operation. So in the past few years, so it's a great uh, impact on China's uh, local philanthropies and also our charities because it's not uh, transparent enough over the past few years in China. If it's only a 10 percent, I think that's also enough for our uh, uh, transparency is much better than the gray areas. So, but uh, what we are lacking now is uh, flexibility. So, otherwise, we can do it uh, better. So, very uh, simple approach. We can avoid a lot of uh, problems, and also that might uh, impact our uh, further uh, growth uh, space. So, at uh, present, so we have to uh, deal with it. We have to bear with it. So we need uh, our transparency and also the public uh, trust in our philanthropies. And uh, we have to uh, sacrifice something. So some of the foundations, they have to uh, make some uh, sacrifice. But in a future development, I hope there might be some uh, changes. So it doesn't mean that uh, so, so one size that does not fit all. So we should uh, be uh, more flexible. So we talked a lot about uh, his uh, public uh, welfare. So IBM is a huge star. It's a stellar uh, person in the sports. So it's not only uh, from the perspective of the sports. And uh, Yao Ming is a member of our uh, China's uh, political consultative uh, uh, conference. So what is the impact as the uh, member in the, CP, in the China political consultative conference? So my proposal. So in the first year, is uh, concerning our uh, sports. So sports is a part of education. So for this term, is uh, in English is uh, sports, but actually in Chinese it should be around uh, physical education. So we focus more on uh, education. Sports is more a kind of a competition. So I hope our uh, physical education. So. We could uh, focus on the connection between uh, sports and uh, education. It's uh, similar to art and also to uh, artistic works. So with our uh, training and the physical exercise, so to make our body uh, stronger and uh, more uh, healthy, we need uh, transparent uh, laws and regulations. So it cannot be in two capacities, both a uh, player and also a uh, referee. And uh, you have to learn how to uh, respect your uh, competitors. So very fierce competition, you have to uh, respect your uh, competitors. So this is uh, very important for a mature society, for a good uh, society in the future. So that's why I think uh, uh, sports is a very important uh, component in our education system. This is my first uh, proposal in the CPPCC. So of course, uh, we don't have something uh, concrete for execute. So the recently, my proposal is to uh, uh, delete those uh, approval process for organizing uh, uh, activities concerning the matches and the sports activities. So it's a very uh, big uh, push forward by our uh, central government and also uh, confirmed by our Premier Li Keqiang. So we try to uh, reduce the flexibility, uh, reduce the complexity of our approval process. So all the people in the audience, so in China you can organize uh, commercial uh, 
tournament or sports or match. You don't need any uh, more of approval from the government agencies. So in the past, we have to wait for the approval. So our commercial organizations, the cost is very high for the uh, uh, public activity, for the advertising activity is quite uh, costly. So those uh, costs will be transferred to all the people involved. So I think our Premier Li Keqiang and also the State Council, so this kind of a decision benefits all the people. So reduce the cost of organizing uh, commercial uh, uh, matches and the games. So the, we have uh, more opportunities. So our uh, private uh, fund and the private uh, businesses, they could uh, get into the industry of uh, sports. So they have uh, more all opportunities. So the, the so-called uh, tertiary industry, the service industry, and also with the guidance of the policy, so we can improve our uh, competitive level of our uh, sports in China. So do you think there's a kind of a connection so with our national uh, system? So at the beginning of a uh, new China, so uh, the connection is uh, very uh, little with the uh, global uh, sports. It's just a uh, uh, physical uh, exercise and uh, to make our people healthy. So at the beginning of uh, opening up and the reform, so we have to uh, revitalize to a certain uh, level of our mentality. That's why we have the slogan, we want to have the Olympic Games and also want to uh, compete for the medalists. So at that time, both uh, physical and also the other limitations, we, are, we cannot afford to have a lot of investment in the sports industry. So the sports is a kind of a sport department and the government department or agencies. So it's very hard to describe how to say it. So I believe uh, m more or less it's a kind of uh, administrative uh, policy and the right of those uh, the administrative uh, operation. I think we have uh, Lang Ping, Li Ning, a group of uh, famous uh, players. But uh, actually, so their matches and uh, uh, cannot be uh, enjoyed by the local Chinese people. So their arena is on the Olympic Games and uh, uh, other parts of the world activity until uh, 2008, we have a Beijing Olympic Games. We have to find a new uh, way out. So most of the panel uh, the, the, the items with uh, medalists. So we have the gymnasium and also the diving and the ping pong ball and uh, uh, badminton and the weight lifting. So with uh, football and the tennis and uh, basketball, so their viewers are not as many as those uh, generic uh, sport items. So the attention and also those uh, uh, medalist items are not matched. Maybe somebody don't care about it. So we should uh, focus more on the development of a kind of uh, professional uh, uh, sports and uh, our relevant uh, uh, agencies, they have to uh, transform themselves. So it's not a nationwide uh, sport. So we have to uh, really have a different uh, types of uh, uh, sports. Of course, we need uh, gold medals, the champions. But it doesn't mean that all the items should be included for the target of uh, gold medals. For the Olympic Games, you can see the competition between the two teams and two countries. But actually, those uh, physical matches represent the the, the powers of the two countries. So it helps our industry a lot. And we have a, a football and a basketball, so we are quite weak. So we don't have such a, a market forces. So one case, so like a big uh, uh, garden. 
So you cannot uh, plant the vegetables uh, the same way. You have the different kind of uh, vegetables and the different ways to uh, raise the vegetables. So government can take the items which cannot be uh, uh, marketized. And also, we can uh, leave it to the market uh, uh, economy. It also uh, goes with uh, what's proposed by uh, uh, Premier Li Keqiang. So we can uh, deregulate and also delegate the power to the market. It could be a big uh, industry uh, market. So just now talk about the uh, system, our sports, and the public uh, welfare. So we have a few more minutes so to come back to uh, Yao Ming himself. So, uh, so he want to be an archaeologist when Yao Ming was young. So do you have any uh, new dreams? So I'm quite interested in history. So uh, in uh, history, uh, we can learn a lot from the case history, both the lessons and the experience from the history. So uh, uh, it's never enough to learn about uh, history. You can learn a lot. So we think. We always say we have uh, 5,000 years of history in China. Maybe uh, that's not enough. So our culture, so there are some uh, uh, breaking points in our uh, history of uh, culture. So with my own efforts, I want to uh, really uh, enjoy the uh, history. That's why I like history. So your impression, you are quite uh, nice. You are very kind to others. You are not uh, so uh, bossy. So when you are in the United States, so a very important case, impressive. Your coach at the beginning, so he thought you are very soft. You are very reluctant for a big uh, slam dunk. So try to uh, give you a stimulus. If you do not have the uh, slam dunk, so your uh, playmates will be uh, penalized running around the ground. So that's a different uh, a culture of sports. So China, we talk about uh, we have to uh, prepare ourselves better. We talk about uh, Confuciusness. So although basketball is a very uh, muscular uh, sport, anyway, the personality of the American people and Chinese people are different. So at that time, my coach is very interesting. He learned something about our collectiveness of Chinese uh, culture. So we never allowed uh, our um, uh, playmates to be uh, penalized due to uh, one player's uh, performance. Sometimes uh, we are not afraid of uh, competition. So later, I'm so uh, proactive to compete in a uh, uh, basketball the ground. So that's a kind of a habit. So this uh, habit will impact my personality. So my personality and characteristics are very different now from uh, 20 years ago. So what's a big difference? So with such a, so I mean, I've been engaged in sports for quite a long time. So that's why I say, so the sports can change the mentality and also the physicalness of the students since I'm quite tall when I was young. So I'm so reluctant to uh, stand side by side with other people because I'm too uh, tall. So with my uh, hard uh, efforts, something is a fact. You cannot uh, uh, go away from it. So we have to uh, uh, bear with it. So we should be more uh, proactive. So just now talk about the difference between US and China. One is uh, collectivism, and the other is uh, individualism. And uh, one thing we quite uh, admire, so when you uh, play basketball in the 10 years in the United States, so in summer, so normally they have a season to rest. But at that time, you come back to China for the uh, China's uh, basketball uh, season. So you have no time to uh, restore your body. If you uh, uh, restart it again, so you will stick to the same uh, level. So from now on, if it is a uh, current uh, status, I'll have a longer uh, sport life. But more and more people can accept our individual dreams, our uh, uh, perseverance. You don't have to uh, 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 follow the interest of our uh, national team. So this is a change of our uh, concept. 
So the players uh, before me, so they already uh, paved the road. So we have uh, more uh, athletes and uh, players. So they can work both for himself and for the government, for the country. So this is a kind of uh, uh, journey. So you cannot have a leapfrog development. You have to uh, grow uh, step by step. So the final two questions for yourself. So what is your current uh, biggest dream? So myself, my biggest dream. Your, your uh, foundation, you want to be a good uh, businessman or a philanthropist. So what is your biggest uh, dream? So I think we can uh, involve uh, more people, join our Yao Fund, and also have a better service to our children. Maybe uh, someday in the future, in another 10 years. So with our training uh, program, one of the students, so they have the same uh, dream. They want to uh, come back to our fund to help the next uh, generation. The last uh, question. So your four and a half year old daughter, so how do you uh, uh, raise, him, raise her up? So what kind of a future you want to uh, offer? Uh, what kind of future she can uh, uh, offer for himself? She should be more uh, self-confident. If you have a good uh, confidence, you have a bright uh, future. So on behalf of all the audience, to this uh, idol, you have uh, so many fans. So what do you want to say as the last uh, uh, remark? Just uh, don't make uh, more photos. Don't take more photos of myself. How about second sentence? No more photos. What else? So without uh, all of you, so my uh, existence, my presence is uh, no significant at all. So thank you for your coming. So uh, uh, Yao Ming, thank you so much. And also thank all of you uh, for joining this uh, uh, session. So just uh, see if you have the opportunity to have a photo with Yao Ming. So that's the end of this session. <laughs>